Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to remove the traction control from a Renault Twingo 3 which is, I have done a video on before but I'm going to do a better one this time. So, first of all you want to get your ELM327 cable, I recommend this one because uh, it works. Uh, you need to open this flap here, which uh, just pull out. opens out from the from the left and then you see the notch on the bottom match it up with the notch on here so it's difficult to do this at this angle so here it is inside you should have a few LEDs showing that it's got voltage okay then what you want to do go to your your key which is here uh, wait, where is it? Uh, all right, do two clicks. So one, two. Oh no, yeah, like that. So if you, when you hear the fuel pump prime, so let me just show you again. So one, two. Uh, so now what you want to do? Find the other end of your cable, which is this USB. Plug it into your laptop like that. Now, here's where the computing starts. So what we want to do is open an app called DDT for all. I just have it down here. So it should open like this. All right, and you should see CH340. Click that. Click, I'm aware that I can harm my uh, car if badly used and then click connected mode so we should do this and then you should get this application come up so immediately what you want to do make oh, also a point is make sure that this this version is from the link in the description because I've tried the official version and it it crashes whenever you change these values so and you need to change these values for this to work. So what you need to do is I usually change this to a thousand and then change the can timeout to a thousand. And this means you can access the ABS ESC module, which is what you need to access. Then what you need to do is go up to this button, which is, it looks like a QR code thing. And then what you want to do is click can. And you should see at the bottom things start to happen, which is a progress bar. So essentially just wait for this to finish and I'll see you then. Another point I may add is that your radio might turn off and on again. Don't worry about that. That it's basically and it plays like a little beep sound. That that's just the radio like the noise it makes when it's being accessed through here. It, it nothing to worry about. Here you can see down here where it says ABS ESC X07. This is good, this is what you want. And there's another one called Cluster TDB. That's also what you want, Cluster X07. It can be a different version depending on what year your car is, but as long as it says ABS ESC X07 or Cluster X07, then this will work. And I've tried many different things in this app and these two modules, these are ES, the uh, ECU modules in the car that control things. Uh, if you haven't changed the, the refresh rate and can timeout, they won't appear. So this is why it's crucial to have this version of the program, which will, I will link in the description and it's free. It does look a bit dodgy because it's like a Russian site, but I assure you this is the one that works because the, the original one I used didn't it would just crash every time I change this value. Okay, now once that's finished, you should see a bunch of green uh, ECUs appear in this screen. So what I want you to do is double click on the ABS VDC and then just wait a minute and then this screen should update. You want to go to configuration, ECU configuration and double click, double click to select them. Then you need to wait a second for this to load up. 
it may may not respond like mine is doing so just just wait for it another point is your ABS light will flicker this is this is good this means that it's accessing the module and don't worry about it and once this is loaded you should see this screen and this is good you should see that all of these except this one say activated by Diag and that you should have all this information if all of them say no data that means it hasn't connected properly so that's just a, a helpful tip now what you want to do all you have to do is go to click this arrow click deactivated by Diag and then click write ASR config oh wait no that's not what you do you first of all I forgot to add because I haven't used this in a while you need to click this button that looks like Albert Einstein and then you can then you can write the config because that basically stops you from doing anything until that's the Einstein buttons pressed it might say ELM response blocked but don't worry about that just ignore it and it might say wrong response but as long as this says deactivated by Diag it will also deactivate AYC and these it will automatically do that if you disable ASR so this is what you should see and once you've de deactivated the trash control when you turn the car on it will likely show an error on the gauge it will have like the service symbol and now I'm going to show you how to remove that service symbol so what you want to do is go back to this screen go to tableau de board cluster x07 double click and then you want to go to ecran configuration tdb config config vehicle and here you are there's loads of different uh, like settings the, these are just all the lights on the on the gauge cluster so you could change these if, if you have like a tire pressure light and you don't want it on anymore then you can you can change that so what you want to do is uh, go down to ESC present CF and you should say it says uh, without ESC which no, I think your one will say with ESC, but I didn't change this. Um, yeah, yours will say this with default, but you want to click without a ESC. And that will basically tell the car that there is no trash control, so don't worry about it. And then click the Einstein button. And then click the button that says ESP. And it it probably say wrong response, subfunction, not response supported but don't worry about that and that should clear the light that uh, you'll you'll get it will clear the the warning light and to show you this I'll turn the car on so now I'm in the driver's seat I'm gonna put the clutch in check it's not in gear and then I'm gonna turn the car on and you should see I mean I have a TPMS light on but don't worry about that that no service lights come on at all so, and your trash control should be removed. So just be careful with that, have some fun, and I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video.